Storm Team meteorologist uh, Rachel Dunsing told us earlier about a story that suggests adding a sixth category to the traditional one uh, through hurricane season, you know, that five hurricane scale. Yeah, there was an actual change that came out of the National Hurricane Center Tuesday. Meteorologist Dave Downey explains. It's a big one that quietly went under the radar with the study that consumed headlines on Tuesday. It has to do with the forecast cone. Of course, we've seen it before. It shows the projected path that the center of a storm is expected to take over the next five days. Look at this track from Idalia last year. I want you to notice the orange and the red on this map. Those are hurricane watches, hurricane warnings in effect, and you see they're only along coastal areas. Now, here's where the major chain co comes in for this hurricane season. Starting in mid-August, the official cone is going to look like this. What's the big change? Well, now they're going to include inland tropical storm and hurricane watches warnings for the continental U.S. Just look at all this blue and red. It's obviously a lot more colorful across the state of Florida. This is a hypothetical example from Hurricane Ian back in 2022. These are tropical storm and hurricane warnings. National Hurricane Center says the main goal here, communicate inland wind risk during tropical cyclone events, which, of course, would certainly apply to us here in the Triangle. Dave Downey, CBS 17 News.